first of all for the classification before we must need observation skill we must need observation skill so dear students here in the textbook i, I hope you all are having textbooks uh, some activities are given here you see the textbook so see here the first activity diversity in plants now we see the diversity in plants diversity in plants diversity in plants lot of variation we see in the plants so in the table one shows observation of leaves of different plants observation of leaves of different plants so this is uh, activity given in the textbook so for that i collect some leaves from different plants you see here so arrange here different types of plants so this one is called as bamboo leaf bamboo leaf this one is kelo usually we call as kanneru this one hibiscus mandara this one guava jama so this one is datura leaf this one is orchid plant so this is pear plant orchid this is also this is tridax procambiensis we all know that so this one is this one is rose leaves or rose plants so these are all uh, examples we see different variations are seen here the leaves so first of all we take first of all we take hibiscus leaf hibiscus usually general name is hibiscus you know mandara so this is the leaf of hibiscus leaf hibiscus leaf so length and width of the leaf how can we measure the length or width of the leaf how can we measure so if you want to measure the length of the leaf just like you take scale and from petiole to tip of the lamina you measure it this leaf size is nearly this leaf size nearly 11 cm the 11 cm the size of the hibiscus is 11 cm length of the hibiscus is 11 cm but how to measure width of the leaf so just like that from here to here the width of the leaf is 8 and 1/2 cm 8 and 1/2 cm so if you want approximately so if you want accurately readings accurately measurements if you want to know the size of the leaf or if you want to know the area of the leaf we must use graph paper already you learned in your lower class or upper class just like this image is a graph paper put a leaf here already let i go i go so so based on this uh, graph paper we must count the uh, boxes square boxes so that like uh, we should know the area of the leaf if you want to uh, measure the area of the leaf you must be use graph paper so this is the uh, information about uh, hibiscus the length of the hibiscus 11 cm width of the hibiscus is 8 and 1/2 cm color of the leaf green color so most of the leaves green color you know that what is the shape or size of the leaf the shape of the leaf is heart shape it look like heart shape it look like heart shape so size is normal size so what is the margin of the high viscous leaf so you see here you see here it has some lobes lobe like areas it is the margin of the leaf it doesn't have smooth it have some lobes so that's why it is called as rough surface rough surface it's not smooth surface it's having rough surface it have some lobes some lobes on the margins on the edges of the leaf we all know that the parts of the leaf 
this is the marginal area okay and what is the v nation final column is here what is the v nation so you see here i think i hope you see very clear it has reticulate v nation how can you say reticulate v nation because the veins are arranged the veins are arranged web like or net like the veins are arranged web like or net like all over the lamina all over the lamina so that's why it is called as reticulate venation that's why it is called as reticulate venation already you know the venation types reticulate venation are parallel venation so that's why just uh, you recollect them already you learned in your lower, lower classes so this is about the high viscous leaf and again i take another leaf for example this is bamboo you know usually local name is called meduru so second one is called bamboo local name is called as meduru the length of the leaf the length of the leaf how to measure with the help of scale approximately the length of the leaf is here Fourteen centimeters. The length of the leaf here, bamboo, is fourteen centimeters. What is the width of the bamboo leaf? Two centimeters. Two centimeters of width. So this is bamboo leaf. So what is the shape of the or uh, size of the leaf? Shape of the leaf means spine, thrown like a needle like. So you see here it has 
some ridges on the edges of the rose leaf they are look like a axa blade edges this look like axa blade edges it has rough surface the it has rough surface Backside of the leaf. You see here, backside of the leaf. What is the venation? So it has mid vein and lateral veins are arranged web-like or net-like. Web-like or net-like arranged all over the lamina. That's why it is also belongs to reticulate venation. It is also belongs to reticulate venation. So just like that, you also observe so many plants. You also collect. Uh, different plants from your surroundings and observe them and try to understand the diversity of the plants. So here I will give uh, three, uh, uh, three examples only. You collect more number of plants and you also describe them. Uh, you measure the length and width of the leaves as well as what is the size, uh, shape and size of the leaf, how is marginal area, how is what is the variation which is uh, present in the leaf. So you can observe, you collect and uh, you, you collect more number of leaves and observe the venation and so on and try to understand the diversity of the art uh, Okay children, so when we move on, then we move to activity 3 which is given in the textbook. Activity 3, observation of seeds. Observation of seeds. So for this, uh, we need to collect some seeds of different plants. So personally, I collect, collected some seeds here. You see, we all know that maize seeds, green gram, these are uh, soaked seeds, these are rice seeds, red gram, ground nuts, and uh, Johar, black eyed pea. Black eyed pea, Jonah seeds, Jowar seeds. So these are the uh, seeds I collected uh, from different areas. Then we are going to observe the coordinates. Before that, we collected seeds and soak them per day, at least per day. So after soaking up seeds, we collect them and fresh it and open it and you see inner parts of the seed. So here, first of all, I take uh, green gram seeds. Green gram, locally uh, we call it as pesalu. The name is local name is pesalu. Which color is seed? Green color. Green color seed. You see here. So these are green gums. These are soaked seeds. Yesterday night I soaked these seeds, uh, just like they are. Uh, swell, swelled, they are modified as just like this. And shape of the shape of the shape of the green gram is what is the shape? It's not complete round. It's uh, look like uh, rectangle shape. I I think it's rectangle, it's a round rectangle. Maize seeds. You all know that 
this is the season of maize plants we don't have maize plant but we have maize seeds uh, some seeds are uh, soaked yesterday night so this is also the soaked seed we take and fresh it fresh it and it is open just like this it has only it is not it has only single part so this white portion shield we call as single cotyledon it has only single cotyledon in the maize plant this seed maize seed maize so which color the maize seeds which color green color sorry yellow color maize seeds are yellow color shape of the maize seed is nearly it looks like teeth it looks like teeth look like teeth this is also a normal size normal size seed how many cotyledons we see in the maize just now we see here so only single cotyledon this white portion because when we uh, crush it it doesn't have two equal halves that's why it has single cotyledon only so it belongs to grains it belongs to grains then we take then we take black ip locally we call alisindalu or bobberlu so these are these are soaked seeds these are normal seeds when we are soaking these seeds uh, they are just like uh, swollen little bit swollen so we take this one how third one is black i p black i p it's which color it's look like brown color it's look like brown color this one It looks like brown color. Right here, brown color. It's what is the shape of the black IP? It looks like IP shape. We already know that. Just like bean seed, it means uh, like the size of the seed is small. The size of this bean seed is small in size. so how many cotyledons in this in this i uh, black ip when we open it it is also divided broken to equal halves so it has two cotyledons this one this one okay so this is called seed coat this is called seed coat so these are individually this one is one cotyledon this one is another cotyledon it is also having two cotyledons belongs to pulses belongs to pulses so this is about the uh, observation of the seeds uh, you also collect as many as possible seeds and observe them observe the uh, color of the seed and soak them for day and open it how many cotyledons are there you can see and understand more about the diversity of the seeds clear then we move to activity 4 okay children this is activity 4 observation of different characters in monocots dicots so what are the differences between simply what we say that here what is what are the difference between the monocots and dicots so here in the textbook given some names in the table the names of the plants here one maize Even in the textbook, maize. Second one is paddy, paddy, a rice plant. Third one is grass, grass plant. Fourth one is beans, beans. Fifth one green gram, green gram. And sixth one is.
which is near the tap root system or fibrous root system. So we don't have maize plants and we don't have paddy plants. Just we have grass plant only. I will explain this. So this is grass plants. Locally we call it as junnu. Already I told you. So third one is grass plant. So what is the venation? Which type of venation seen in the uh, grass plant? Already we discussed in first activity. Uh, venation. Which type of venation? So this is parallel type of venation. So why? Because the lateral veins and mid vein parallel to one another, spread all over the lamina. So that's why it is uh, parallel venation. As parallel venation in grass plants, parallel venation. So it doesn't have any roots. That's why I don't write here number number of cotyledons. So which type of root system? You see here which type of root system? Fibrous root system or adventitious root system. Why? Because all the thin roots are arising from the bottom of the stem as like group of fibers. So that's why it is uh, belongs to fibrous, fibrous root system, fibrous root system. So depending on this grass plant characters, we also write about these characters. So how? So maize plant leaves also look like this as grass plants as well as paddy leaves also look like this. So that's why these two plants also maize and paddy leaves uh, plants also they have parallel venation. They have parallel venation. Already we know uh, we saw many times maize plant paddy plants we already know that. So very well known plants that's why I write here because I don't have maize plant paddy plants but they have parallel venation. So number of cotyledons already I have discussed just now number of cotyledons in maize already discussed in third activity it has only one cotyledon. I show you. Already I show you. Then number of cotyledons in paddy. So these are the paddy seeds already we discussed in third activity these are the paddy seeds uh, locally we call uh, old blue Telugu name, but it's not uh, broken as equal halves. That's why it is also having it is also having only single cotyledon. It's not broken uh, easily. These are soaked seeds, but it doesn't have any uh, two equal halves. It has only one cotyledon. So which type of root system as well as as like grass? Paddy and maize also they have fibrous root system. Why? Why they have fibrous root system? We decided fibrous root system they have because they have parallel venation. If the plant has parallel venation in the leaves, that should have the fibrous root system. Already uh, I given some examples about different plants. That's why we wrote here. Though we don't have any maize, maize paddy plants. Then we take the beans. So I have bean leaves here. Bean leaves here. So which type of venation in beans? Dolicus. We already know that. Locally we call chikudu. So which type of venation this is? This is reticulate venation. So why it is called as reticulate venation? Because the, all the veins are arranged. Web like or net like. Web like or net like. That's why it is called as reticulate venation in beans. Dolicus beans. Reticulate venation. Reticulate venation. So I don't have bean seeds. In the place of bean seeds, I take uh, locally we call alicinda. Already seen just like the bean seeds also just like this. So these are bean seeds. Uh, how many cotyledons in this? It has two cotyledons already we discussed in third activity. That's why I write directly here. Which type of venation? So which type of root system? Tell me which type of root system? If the plant leaf has reticulate venation, that should have tap root system. That should have tap root system. So this is another example, beans. So I don't have green ground plant. 
But I have green crop seeds already we seen in activity three. We seen in activity three. We will discuss. So green crop plants also having reticulate vegetation. Reticulate vegetation, and they also having two continents, and they have tabular system because all are equal uh, characters because these are all the pulses. Beans, green crop, brown net. This is brown net is also having. reticulate vegetation and we split it and we break it the soaking ground nut seed already we seen in uh, activity 3 it is also two equal halls it is also broken as two equal halls that's why it is also having two cord middles and tab root system so these are the characters here in this activity we observe the different characters monocots and digots here see you see some common characters we see uh, first three plants maize paddy grass what are the common characters paddy vegetation in the, all these three plants as well as all these three plants have a fibrous root system these are the common characters yes. and remaining three beans green crop brown nuts these are also having reticulate vegetation all these are having They are all having two quadrants, and they have tab root system. These are the common character we see in beans, green crop, brown nuts. So now, if the plant has reticulate vegetation and tab root system, and two quadrants, that plant belongs to digot. That plant belongs to digot. Digot plants. And the plant has parallel vegetation. Single cotyledon, fibrous root system. So that plant belongs to monocot. Based on those characters, we call it as monocot plant. Okay. So what are the differences between monocots and digots? Digots has tap root system. Digot has tap root system. But monocot has fibrous root system, advantageous root system. Already we discussed here. Then what is the vegetation in digot? What is the vegetation? reticulate vegetation reticulate vegetation already we seen in different activities but in the monocot we see parallel vegetation parallel vegetation how many cotyledons are seen in digot plants two cotyledons when we broken it when we broken it break it they broken as two equal halves that's why it has two uh, cotyledons But in the monocot, they have single cotyledon only. So these are the fundamental differences between digots and monocot plants. You should remember, if you learn all these activities, uh, you collect some more leaves and some more flowers and some more seeds, and try to absorb those seeds, leaves, and flowers, and try to extend these tables and try to understand more. Diversity of the organism, especially diversity in plants. I hope you all are uh, understood very well about uh, diversity in plants. So observation of leaves, observation of uh, stems, observation of flowers, and observation of the seeds in third activity, and observation of different characters of more of our records. So this is about the uh, uh, diversity in living organisms, especially diversity in plants. This is my topic. So you read the textbook.